Hey guys, Mr. Rice here, and we're going to go over the missions five through nine in basic navigation one on Coder Z found in Cyber Robotics 101. So let's look at the screen and start those missions. So we're in Cyber Robotics 101, basic navigation one. We've already done missions one, two, three, and four. Let's do missions five through nine now. We've done going forwards and backwards. Now we're gonna do some turning. Uh-oh, the robot is facing the wrong direction. We need to turn. So let's see how to do this one together. As we wait. Okay, there we go. Let's restart the mission here. So you can see from scratch how to complete it. Learn, let's learn how to code a point turn. It's simple. A point turn is a turn that keeps the center of the robot stationary as the wheels turn in opposite directions. So as one wheel spins forward, the other wheel spins backward. We set a drive block with power 15, just to slow it down a little bit, and a steering value. It will make the robot turn differently depending on the steering value. To do a point turn to the right that's spinning in place, the steering must be 100. Let's click run and see what happens. Okay, you can see the robot turns, but it goes a little too far. So let's lower the time that it makes that point turn to the right. It should take exactly between 1.5 and two seconds. And right now they have 2.3 seconds. That's what 2,300 milliseconds is, 2.3 seconds. So the middle point between 1.5 and two seconds should be 1.75 or 1,750 milliseconds. So let's see if that's the correct amount of time needed for a power 15 steering 100, 90 degree perfect right turn, Looks like it is. Excellent. There you go. There's your solution for mission number five. Let's do mission number six. You know, got on a roll here. Time to make a left point turn. I should load faster now. Perfect. All righty. I'll restart the mission because that's the solution. There we go. Now we need to turn to the left. This code that solved that last mission is already provided for you. But if you run the code, it's turning to the right and we need to turn to the left. So how do we turn the robot to the left? Make it a negative steering value. Negative turns go to the left. I remember it because left-handed people are negative people. I actually don't know if that's true, but that's how I remember it in my head. Lefties are negative, left turns are negative. There we go, now the robot turns to the left, perfectly completing the mission. Let's do the next mission too, mission seven, parking right. Park the robot using a right turn should be simple. Hmm. Seems a little patronizing, what if it's not simple? Then am I meant to feel dumb? I don't know, they shouldn't say that. All right, let's restart the mission because I've already solved it. You should find a parking spot for the robot. Let's run the code. This is the code that's already provided for you. Let's run it and see what it does. So the robot moves forward for three seconds and then it turns to the right. Oh no, that spot is taken by a rock. There's a spot here though that is open. In fact, it's got the target there. So we need to tweak the code so the robot reaches it. The weight value should change to four seconds or 4,000 milliseconds because the robot didn't go far enough. It only went forward for three seconds. That's how you read it. It goes forward for three seconds. Now it goes forward for four seconds, which is the perfect distance to turn right into the parking spot. This time we're gonna park the robot to the left. So it should be the same code, but it turns to the left. How are we gonna do that? Let's 
restart the mission because that's the answer. Code your robot into the parking space. Notice now we're missing a couple blocks. So we'll look how to add those blocks and where they can be found in our little uh, organizers here on the left. All right, you'll find the drive block in the motor category, which is blue. You'll find the wait for block in the yellow control floor flow category. If you're having trouble, you can always click on that little light bulb and they have some helpful tips. Hopefully they're helpful in there for you. Okay, so the robot goes forward for four seconds and then we need to turn to the left. So a left turn, I'm gonna say a power 15 just to make it nice and slow. And remember a left turn is negative because left-handed people are negative. So we're gonna say negative 100 on the left turn there. So now my robot should go forward to this spot and turn to the left. Perfect, but it should stop at a perfect 90 degree turn. So I need to add a wait for block so that my robot doesn't spin around in a circle forever. So a wait for block is found in control flow and the wait for 1000 milliseconds is right there. And I know a perfect left turn when my power is 15 is 1750 milliseconds. After it makes that perfect left turn, we're just gonna make it drive forward. And this should be the correct code. Let's see if it works. So the robot goes forward for four seconds, turns to the left for 1,750 milliseconds, then drives forward into the solution target area zone. Congratulations, you've successfully completed parking left. We got one more to do called park back. Parking the robot is all about driving forward, backward, and doing po point turns. Make it so. Okay, let's see what this one is. Let's restart the mission because that's the solution. Practice. Parking makes perfect. Time to practice all you've learned. Use drive blocks and wait for blocks to get into the parking spot. Remember to add steering to a drive block. There you go. It shows you how to do it. It's nice. We have tips to refresh your memory here. Okay, I don't need them. So this challenge has my robot facing the wrong way. So I'm gonna need to drive backwards. Okay, so I need to drive backwards to right here and then I'll turn to the left and drive forward. So it's good to think about in advance what you need to do. It's kind of like a puzzle. So I'm gonna drive backwards, change the direction to backwards. And this is like two, I bet that's two seconds. So I'm gonna change, I'm gonna add a wait for and change the 1000 to a 2000. Once it drives backwards for two seconds, we want to turn to the left. So that's another drive block. And make sure you add the set steering selection. Right there. Now I have a steering number here. And then we'll add a number. Numbers are found in data. Right there is a zero. Okay, so it's a left turn. So I'm gonna make my steering negative 100. I'm also going to reduce my power so it doesn't spin super fast. Uh, and I know a perfect left turn is a wait for 1,750. So I'm gonna add one more wait for 1,750. And then I'll turn forward or drive forward. No more turning. So let's see if this works. It should go backwards for 2000 milliseconds. Then it should turn left for 1750 milliseconds. And then it should drive forward. Let's see if that works. Drive backwards for two seconds, turn left for 1.75 seconds, then drive forward into the target. You have completed basic navigation one. So try those for yourselves. Uh, good luck with them. That's basic navigation one. In the next section, we learn how to do some more turning with your robot. So finish those missions. Good luck, and I'll catch you next time.